Hello, my good friends, ladies and gentlemen, dear, dear, dear Southern Californians, welcome to the show. Jack Chow getting this very rare opportunity to meet these great people uh, from Rotary Club. Rotary International, to be more precise, with me today is their, pres uh, their president, no, let's rephrase, it's governor of the 5300 district, Mr. Petrov. Thank you. Once again, welcome to my show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And also, I have the pleasure to get the former governor of the same district, Mr. Gary Hagen. Am I right? I'm, oh. I'm better than last time. Almost. Almost, <laughs> almost there. Welcome to my show one more Thank time. You. Thank you. Good. And I appreciate very much the fact that you brought me the understanding about the foundation of the Rotary Spirit to help, right? Mm -hmm. To help. And also some basic knowledge about where um, funds come from and to what you do. And next thing is that, because I, when I was doing my homework, a big word caught my eye, the PEACE program. Uh, spelled P-E-A-C-E, PEACE. I believe a, a one-year-old can do that, but it's a word we have to spell out our whole life, don't you think so? Yep. Right. So, may I please, may we please know something about your peace program? What is really interesting about our peace program, mm -hmm. and I've been involved with 10 years with Dr. Garbus when he first started it. Mm -hmm. And let me just kind of go back to what goes around in the world and we hear about peace mm -hmm. and conflict and mm -hmm. what happens. District governors every year at this time right now, mm -hmm. the next year's district governor is in San Diego and we're getting trained with every governor that's going to be coming up in San Diego. I see. And I was so amazed because when we hear about uh, worn torn countries mm -hmm. and racist and, and peace conflict, yeah. but yet when I'm with all the individuals around the world and mm -hmm. we're sitting in rooms like this and we're talking about Rotary and we have something in common, mm -hmm. and I'm so amazed around the world, a lot of Rotary districts, just like ours, hold these peace conference. And a lot of times, our peace conference will contact Dr. Gavis in his peace mm -hmm. concert, and we share ideas to make our whole world one better place. Mm -hmm. This year, when we came with this grand idea of mm -hmm. what we've done, and we really wanted to expand this from our youth to all of our politicians mm -hmm. to great people around the world, and this is what Rotary is all about. Mm -hmm. We have ways to bring the whole world together, or we have contacts. Very well said, mm -hmm. very, very well said. When we created, when you created the, the peace program, uh, you want to include everybody's effort in the making of the world to be a better place to live in. Am I right? Very true. Yeah. And uh, do you do anything to bring, uh, as part of the peace program, to bring fairness or, or awareness about the unpeaceful incidents? Unpeaceful fact, do you still do that too? Of course we do. I know you do one side, do you do the other side? Of course we do. Mm -hmm. How? Let me tell you, Jack, that the mission of Rotary International is to promote global peace, better understanding, mm -hmm. goodwill, and fellowship. Sure. We are the only district in the Rotary world that organizes annual peace conferences. And on March the 1st, it will be our 25th anniversary. We have organized these conferences mm -hmm. for 25 years. We have invited uh, diplomats. Mm -hmm. We have invited uh, members of the U.S. Congress. Ah, we have I invited uh, professors, college, university presidents. And you, you, United we, Nations, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. have mm -hmm. even invited the president of the Russian parliament. Mm -hmm. And uh, All right. attracted more than 2,500 uh, Rotarians. I and see, friends. I see. Mm. So we are recognized as the home of Rotary International mm -hmm. Peace Conferences. I see. And uh, we're very elated because we have the governor's support mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all the support of mm -hmm. uh, pesticide governors and mm -hmm. uh, committee members. And we focus on mm -hmm. a specific theme every year. This year, the theme is unity mm -hmm. through diversity. Say it again, please. Unity through diversity. Unity to diversity. diversity. Oh, all right. Through good, diversity. Good. Uh -huh. Because mm -hmm. Rotary is a very rare organization that exemplifies mm -hmm. unity through diversity. I see. Because we have Rotarians of all races, mm -hmm. of all backgrounds, all of right. all cultures, yeah, yeah, yeah. of exactly. all faiths, exactly. of all ages. Yeah. 
Ah. That's why we are a prime example mm. of unity through diversity. Mm. And the focus is on this thing. Yes, the yes, yes, exactly. The exactly. vice president mm. of Otto International, we serve as our keynote speakers. Mm. She is the first woman in the history of Rotary International serving as vice president. And uh, this is very, very significant because mm. now we have women mm. in leadership positions exactly. uh, in Rotary exactly. International. Well, no, I really like the term uh, unity through diversity. Yes. So to lots of people these days, they don't like the word diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, they want a uh, different ways. So. Yes. Every time when the word peace is mentioned, they automatically think about it that well. That's the opposite of a war. That's it. When no, when as long as there's no war, there's peace. That's not true. But do you think, Governor, we should give more definitions to peace to make people aware of that? In my opinion, yes. Mm. <laughs> I think we need to do is let everybody know how. Especially what Rotary do is we yeah. all try to work in mm -hmm. unity mm -hmm. and give the chance and um, open arms and, and just kind of, sure. it's really important. And I know it's mm -hmm. hard because sometimes what the Western civilization does mm -hmm. with other countries, it's not the same. But mm -hmm. this is what, when we travel around the world, and I am so amazed when I go into different cultures, mm -hmm. and I talk to many individuals, and I went, oh my goodness, that's what they think of us, or I didn't realize it. But you know, that all also opens our mind up, because now when we come mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. and we do the peace conference, and what we do, we mm -hmm. could share more ideas what happens in other countries, because sometimes we only hear what we hear, they mm -hmm. hear what they hear, mm -hmm. but as we cross train, and a lot of Rotarians in other countries welcome us mm. and, they're, and they take care of us, we go through, we mm. come over here and we're able to share and I think this is what I love about Rotary. Mm. We have a chance to visit around the world and they help us, they share, we bring them over here and we give them what we do and we, it works, it's, it's a long process. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I'm so glad that we pick up this subject because uh, at this show from East to West, well, exactly. I, I wouldn't call it a, by coincidence. I would rather say people who have this kind of concept are getting more and more. More and more people with the same concept, emphasizing East and West combined, including middle, in the middle, right? So diversity is the word, like a former governor says. And uh, peace is only, unity can only be achieved through diversity. You don't want to exclu exclude anybody. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And also, my next question is that inside the Rotary Club, inside among the Rotarians, uh, they, most of them are business owners. They are diversity business owners from anywhere of the world, though. Do you have any program to give certain people, certain group of people, as business owners, kind of a help or aid to help their business grow? We have networking. Mm, of networking, course, you know, yeah. we do networking and mm. we support each other. I see. And morally and business-wise. Mm. And uh, we're like a family. Each mm. and every club is a family. And each and every district is a family. Mm. And Rotary International is a family because, as, as I said, we have one big heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. many hands. Mm. So we support each other. And it's very important to say that, you know, peace is the language that combines all Rotarians together. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. speak Chinese, mm -hmm. we don't speak English, we don't speak uh, Japanese mm -hmm. or Spanish. We speak one language and mm -hmm. that's the language of love mm -hmm. and that promotes peace. Exactly. So that really is the spirit of Rotary. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and I like this uh, statement. It's all said almost in poetic way, right? Because uh, uh, we may speak one thing, we may not be able to speak the other, yes. but we all speak the language of love. Yes. All right, let's speak the language. Let's keep on speaking the language of love. That is the only thing we're in lack of. Right? I know lots of people need money. I need money too, but most importantly, we need love. Right? Let's take another short moment out. When we come back, we would probably find out how the, the, the word love is spelled. Is that just the four letters 
All right, stay with us.